those of you that don't know me, uh, I am the president, a uh, member of the BDF project, module project team, if we ever can get that going. I've been talking to them. We may be killing that project altogether. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you killing? Media the, the module. Media module. I so, thought that was you, you were going to have it done by now. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> but, uh, that's well, what I say about that. <laughs> it's been a while since I came. So anyhow, uh, there's that. Uh, uh, there's, I publish uh, videos on jumpstarttv.com. Uh, it's been a while since I published a new one, but uh, uh, almost all the information is still very relevant. Uh, there's a lot of beginner stuff if there's any beginners in the room. And a uh, freelance technical editor for Rock. So I, uh, I edited uh, Daryl's book over there. It was horrible. <laughs> horribly good. Horribly good. Buy it. All right. Uh, so any of my chapters? Did, no, I only just stands in that book. His chapters are really good, so if you're into module development, that is a good book. All right. Anyhow, uh, these slides are, uh, are meant for reference, so uh, you know if I do go through here, uh, unfortunately, I didn't already post these on the website, but I'll have these posted either tonight or tomorrow uh, for you to grab uh, off the DNN website. And uh, these do go in the members only area, and right now that is protected by login. All right. Um, so all you have to do to get into there is just create an account. All right. Uh, so basically, what we're going to go into is blogging and the blogging overview for those of you that maybe are not too comfortable with blogging. Anybody in here not blog ever? I'm raising my hand, but that's not because of oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage hands going. Okay. Just All right, so I'll kind of skim through that a little bit. A blog module overview. We're going to go look at the module, see what features it has and everything. Uh, we're going to blog using Windows Live Writer. All right, and uh, I've got some opinions about that to tell you in a little bit. And then we're going to talk about marketing your blog, how to push it out there, how to get it, get it popular, make it successful, and uh, the future of the blog module itself, or the future of the blog module itself. All right. So any questions on these agenda items that we're going to go over? So basically what is blogging? Uh, it's pretty much pretty standard, but it's basically the term for, for a site that basically pushes out regular content in, in a uh, kind of short story form. Uh, it, it, there's not really a true definition for it, but that, that's basically it. Because in the very beginning, uh, before blogs and Web 2.0 existed, there were a lot of sites you could probably call it a blog, but it really wasn't. Uh, so you know, it, it pushes out usually small article type content uh, in a regular <coughs> manner. All right, so that's a blog. Well, isn't that news also? It can be determined. Yeah, so it's it's very yeah. subjective. But you know, if yeah. you call it a blog, it's a blog. Yeah. If it's a blog about food, some people call it a vlog. <laughs> it's, if it's a video blog, it's a vlog. Right. <laughs> so some blog uh, glossary things. Uh, I'm going to only go over a few of these, but there's things like permalink. You might see that term out there. Maybe it'll confuse you. Maybe not. That's basically the permanent link to a specific blog entry. So if you have most blogs out there, you can get to a specific entry many different ways. There's usually multiple URLs and especially so in DNN. In DNN for any page there's literally unlimited URLs to get to it. Uh, but a permalink, uh, that's actually the standard URL, the permanent URL that's supposed to be used by search engines and yourselves when you're linking to it. All right. Uh, so you might hear somebody say I'm posting it to my blog. That just means they're adding an entry to their blog. A blog post, that's an entry in your blog. So there's a lot of terms that get interchangeable if you start talking about this on the web. A lot of people will look at this from different perspectives. All right. Uh, when a trackback, that's when somebody uh, subscribe or not subscribes, but links to your blog and they notify your blog and put a link into your, your comments. Uh, sometimes that'll happen automatically depending on the blog engine you're using. And it basically it's a way for the, both of the blogs to get some SEO value of saying I'm linking to you, I value your content. All right. And uh, with the DNN blog module, it does that for you automatically within its own environment. All right. Uh, let's see here. So some blog features. All right, when we're talking about a blog module, well, first of all, anybody have any questions on any of those terms? I don't want to get too far into that. No? I, I covered the couple that sometimes stumble people up. All right, so with blog features, whenever you're talking about a blog module, there's, there's a few things that you always want to be looking for. All right, there's some things that you, you, you obviously want to be able to post blog entries. You, okay? you want to be able to have visitor comments usually, not always. It depends on your purpose for your blog. All right. uh, social sharing is very important these days, and I'll talk about more about that later, but that's very, very important for your blog module, for any blog engine, for that matter. Uh, remote blogging, uh, being able to blog from multiple sources. You know, if you're uh, maybe flying on a plane, you're traveling, you know, you might want to kill some time, maybe you want to go ahead and uh, s submit a blog, or you know, start writing a blog. That might be important to you. Uh, syndication, that's another way of pushing your blog out there. Um, you might have heard terms like RSS readers, all right, the syndication, being able to allow other people to consume your blog and be able to face it in another uh, another source to drive traffic to you, all right. Uh, advertising, that may or may not be important to you, being able to integrate ads, maybe banner ads, Google AdSense, or whatever, to maybe get a few pennies off of uh, whatever your blog is, all right, uh, or a few 
extra things. All right, uh, being able to support plugins. All right, you, typically people don't just have a blog out there just to publish that one entry. You know, they might have other ideas, even if they didn't have it when they first put it up there. They might have an idea to integrate something in there afterwards that wasn't there originally. Maybe like a tag cloud. All right, most most blogging engines, even if they accept plugins, that's not something that comes standard. That's something you have to add to it. All right, um, categories and tags. These last three have stars. All right, uh, the stars meaning uh, that. Functionality does exist kind of in the current DNN blog module. So we're talking about categories and tags. Um, you can do that in the DNN blog module right now, but you have to do it with third-party tools. Um, with the XML RPC, what that means is XML RPC is a technology that uh, is used in the different uh, uh, blog environments to be able to do what's called pinging, right? To submit your blog to places like Technorati, right? To, to say, hey, I got a new entry, you know, start sending people over to my entry. Okay? So the XML RPC is a technology that your blog can do automatically to start driving traffic to your blog. Right? Uh, so, so most blogging engines do that automatically. That functionality is actually already coded into the DNN blog module, but it can't be used because it's written in .NET 2.0 and the blog module is still 1.1. So they never actually enabled it. All that code's commented out. So if you were to go and get the source for it, you can actually go and uncomment that, make it a 2.0 project, and enable that functionality right now. Um, but that being said, uh, that that and the categories and tags those are going to be coming in the next version of the blog module, which is 3.5.2, and uh, that's going to be. I'm going to be talking about that more later. Uh, statistics. Not all blog en engines offer that. So uh, in the DNN environment, your best bet is to use something like Google Analytics. All right. But um, uh, I have been talking to Antonio because I'm kind of. If you don't know, I, I do have an extensive blog. Uh, I even started. Uh, guest blogging on uh, Applied Eye, all right, the Applied Innovations or Webpo. <coughs> and uh, one of the things that I started looking at, uh, I've been talking to Antonio Chigari because, you know, some of the things that I want to see in the blog module and this and that. And uh, one of the things that came up is uh, there was somebody that is getting really passionate about the blog module out there publicly in the, the DNN forums. There's a lot of features that he really, really wants in there. He doesn't understand why they weren't there yesterday, all right. Uh, and one of them was statistics. There, he has a really great idea on this, uh, and he has all these screenshots, like workflow planned out. Like, you know, this is what I wanted to do, and it's a great idea. But he doesn't understand the speed of open source. So, uh, uh, hopefully, that'll come soon. But uh, that, that's uh, if it gets to anything even close to approaching Google Analytics, that's, that would be really good tools for him. All right. Any questions on, on some of those blog features? Did I miss any that are important to you? I'm not clear the difference between categories and tags. I, I do tags, but I'm not sure why these categories are on my blog. Yeah, yeah well, um, you can use those in different ways, and, and, and a lot of times they're not necessary depending on, on, on how varied your blog is. If you have a blog that's about one central topic, maybe let's say it's a DNN blog, you're just blogging about using DNN, and that's all you ever say. That might not be useful to you at all, either one of them. But if, you, if your, your topic uh, tends to vary, maybe you're talking about DNN and you're talking about VB.net, Maybe you're talking about uh, skinning, maybe you're talking about CSS, and you start to get into all those other areas. Tagging might be important to help you, well, help your users be able to, like, you know, maybe it was a really good blog on, on using CSS to, to you know, uh, vertically align a menu. All right? Maybe that was your blog topic. I just saw that come up today. It was uh, a really good one. But uh, if they said, oh, you know what, this guy, he did a great blog on, on this and the CSS, you might know what he's talking about. Let me click on the CSS tag, and that will show me all the CSS blogs. Right, I do the tags, I just don't know the categories. Oh, okay, the categories, sorry. The categories uh, is more useful in a way to where, like, if you're using the blog module, uh, one of the features that we're going to see is that you can do child blogs, all right? You, you, you logged on, and I'm going to show you this in a little bit, so it's going to make a lot more sense if you haven't seen this before. But you can log on, you create a blog for yourself, and then you can create a child blog. Well, that child blog can be used as a category. So, once again, if we're talking about just CSS, or, well, no, let's do a little bit more abstract here. Let's say part of your life you're in DNN, part of your life you have family, right? <laughs> you know, you could use the different blog categories as to be able to filter out, say, okay, here's all my technology stuff, and here's all the stuff that's you know family related, or maybe uh, I like to blog about movies. You know, that could be a different category. So when you start creating child blogs, that's right now the type of categorization that DNN has. But they're going to be uh, putting something a lot more fluid in there, something a lot more flexible. Uh, the child blogs, as we know, it's going away. And uh, once you see it, you're going to like it. Uh, but uh, they're, they're, uh, that's where categories come into play, is being able to uh, filter it out for an entire blog instead of